composite functions, I feel like we've gone over these quite a few times this year, but just to remind you of composite functions really quickly. Um, now, f of g of x, that is not a multiplication symbol. It is an open circle, meaning f of g of x. That's equivalent to saying f of g of negative 5 here. So remember, it's telling us to input into the function of g first. So g of negative 5 equals negative 5 squared plus negative 5, which equals 25 minus 5, or 20. All right, since we have g of negative 5 um, equal to 20, I'm going to replace that. And now I just need to solve for f of 20. f is 4x. So 4 times 20 plus 5, which will be 80 plus 5, or 85. So f of g of negative 5 is equal to 85. All right, in the other one, we just have the value of n. So I'm going to put that in as my input. And this time we have g of f of n. So let's find f of n first. That'll be 3n squared minus n. I'm just inputting n where I see n. Exactly the same thing. Um, so now we're going to find g of 3n squared minus n, which will be, for that n, 3n squared minus n plus 3. So g of f of n is equal to 3n squared minus n plus 3. Why do we do these? Because they save me a lot of time. If I have two functions I'm constantly using in something like physics, and I'm taking one input, putting it into a function, whatever it produces, I'm putting it into another function. If I combine the two functions, I can just take the original input, put it into the composite function, and get the value and save myself a lot of time. For fun, let's just find f of g of n. All right, well, g of n equals n plus 3. So I'm finding f of n plus 3. I'm going to input that into my function. That'll be 3 times n plus 3 squared minus n plus 3, which is 3 times n squared plus 6n plus 9. I'm using binomial expansion for that to do that quickly. Minus n minus 3, which is equal to 3n squared plus 18n plus 27 minus n minus 3, giving me a final result for f of g of n to be 3n squared, let's see, plus 17n plus 24. So just make sure that you can work with composite functions, that you can work with graphs and finding values based on those inputs and outputs as well.